YouTube and all who inhabit it, my name is Nidozy, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a completely vanilla 1.16 Capture the Flag Minecraft data pack. This is something that you can put into your own worlds. Okay, so how you actually download this thing is really, really simple. So you just want to go to the link in the description, which is going to take you to this Planet Minecraft page where you can download the pack yourself. So you just want to come to this page and hit download data pack just like that, and it'll prompt you. For me, I'm personally using using Firefox, so it'll prompt me with a window like this. If you're using Chrome, it'll probably come up somewhere around down here and it'll ask you if you want to keep or discard. Just make sure you hit keep. And if you're using Internet Explorer, well, the simple and blatant truth is that you really shouldn't be using Internet Explorer. So now, as you can see, I am on my desktop and I have my ctf.zip right here. So uh, I apologize for the clicky keyboard. I'm not using my recording keyboard right now. But anyway, all you want to do is hold down the Windows key and the R button, and that'll bring up this run menu. And you just want to type in, just like I have here, percent app data. And then percent, just like that, you want to type it in just like that, hit OK, and then this is going to bring up all your program files. But we're looking for the .minecraft folder, which will either be at the very top or the very bottom. So you're going to hit go double click on .minecraft, then you want to go to saves, and then this will show you every single one of your worlds. So let's say I wanted to install it in this uh, CTF world that I have right here. Well, I would simply go to data packs that folder right there, and then I would want to drag my ctf.zip into there, but we're not done quite yet. Now we need to extract this, so right click on it, and you just want to hit extract files or extract here. I personally have WinRAR right now, so it might be a little bit different. I, If you just want to look for something that says extract, uh, and then it, it should work perfectly. So that'll give you this folder right here, and if you're using WinRAR, then there it'll pro there there's probably going to be another folder inside it. So what you want to do is just control copy that and then control paste it. And now it has been replaced, so I can delete this zip file. And if I double click on that, you can see we have all of our uh, data pack files in here. So that's pretty much it for installing it. Back to the video. Now this next portion of the video is going to be talking about how to set up the pack itself. So you've installed the pack by downloading the file below and dragging and dropping it into your data packs folder for whatever Minecraft world you want. Great. The first command that we need to type in is the slash function command. You should see all of the commands for the capture the flag Minecraft pack and any other commands for the data packs that you've previously, previously installed in that world. So, you want to go down to setup. When you see that, it's going to give these complex instructions, but don't be intimidated. If you want to read these yourself, then you can, but I'm also going to be explaining it audibly and visually here. So once you start it up, you should get these two eggs. You get a blue flag and a red flag. These can be placed wherever you want in your Minecraft world. So I'm just going to place them here and here, and th they're sort of a distance apart. Make sure that they're not right on top of each other. That's not going to be good. So now that you've done that, we want to have all of the players on your Minecraft server join whichever team they want. So, this is pretty simple. We want to go back to the function command, and you want to instruct every single player on your server to select either blue or red. I'm going to select blue just as an example, and I've now entered the blue team. So let's say you're the only server operator on the server that you're playing on. Well, that's a problem because your friends can't really join a team if they don't have permission to type in the command. So all we want to do is type in slash execute, then as, and then the person that you're running it for. So I'm just going to type in my own name. Instead of NatoZ, you would type in your friend's name. I'm going to type in run, and then I'm going to type in that same function command, except you want to select whichever team you want said friend to be on. So I would either select blue or red. So just for example, you can see that if I select red for myself, I type in chat, my name is now red because I have joined the red team. But I want to be on blue team for this example. So now you can see I am on blue team, everything's worked. So once you have your teams all set up and organized, it's pretty much done. All you really need to do is type in slash function start game. Your friends will be teleported to their individual flags and you'll get kitted out with some armor, a sword, and a bow. Pretty cool stuff. So now it basically just works the same as regular capture the flag would work. As you can see, I'm on the blue team. If I run up to the red flag, it I, I can take it and it plays a little sound effect. Now say I'm running, oh no, if I kill myself, it says the red flag has been dropped. 
and all these messages come up in chat, the red flag resets its position. So now let's say I do that again. I grab it, but this time I repeat it. We have quite a loud sound effect. Um, and as you can see, if you look at the scoreboard, it has been updated, and now the blue team has one point. Now let's say I change my team. So this is a case where you might actually want to de-op your, your friends because um, they can actually change their team midway through. You also get this glow effect based on what team you're on, and you also get the flag on your head. But anyway, as you can see, I can just take that flag, put it right in like that, and the red score goes up. So in this game, it's first one to five points. So I'll real quick get those last four points and show you how it works. If you go here, it says red team wins, blue team lost, and, and it'll also do the opposite if it's the other way around. Now one thing that I probably should mention is obviously if you switch teams midway through the game, you obviously won't get a different color armor because that's already been given to you at the beginning. And that's pretty much it for how to play. Now remember, you can always go and click the link in the description to download this pack. Now, if you do download this for your own Minecraft world, I would definitely encourage you to join my Discord server. There you can report any bugs that you may have or just find some people to play with. So yeah, that's a pretty fun thing to do. Also, it really helps support me a lot and it, it'll really just be a great place for you guys who are fans of me to uh, just be able to interact with each other.